Hello YouTube and welcome to this episode of Kerbal Engineering. In this episode we will be assembling a lathe mobile base rover and we will be using Rover Dude's Caribou parts to build it. So the purpose of this base is to uh, be able to well come to the orbit or come to the surface of lathe using the SSTO that I will be that I've previewed already and I'll be showing an episode on how to build it. But for the purpose of this episode we have the Caribou base rover. So I'm just trying to fix my, you know, rover. It The problem with it, it must not be too long, but if it's too short and doesn't have all the components that I need, then I might be missing on stuff. So yes, I'm struggling a little bit between, uh, you know, having all the amenities that I need and, and also keeping this rover minimalistic because it has to be dropped off by an SSTO, or at least it has in my head. So let's put some more wheel storage bay and I think this should be about right to keep it symmetric. Then we want to be putting docking port at the back because this is the port that we will be docking to the SSTO. Then we come on to the point of rover wheels. And the reason for me guys not using the Caribou rover before is I had problems with wheels. I couldn't fold them for the life of me. But in the end uh, using the wisdom of the forum and the KSP community, which is awesome by the way, uh, I have finally found a solution how to tuck the rover wheels in and it was uh, basically a bug in the module. So after correction I've tried it and it seems okay as you will be able to see in the test. I'm adding, by the way, agri two agricultural modules, one habitation module, and, uh, yeah, oops, wrong way. You see, this is the reason why I want to make sure that they are correctly placed. Okay, and then we will be needing, so two, I would almost argue to put a inflatable storage but storage we have plenty of at the moment so let's put a workshop here and if we ever decide to take another rover and basically smack it here then okay it's deploying in the right direction great so this is what the base will look like when it's once it's deployed pretty cool eh <laughs> okay let's retract everything so I want to be putting uh, this little fella, which is the, you know, providing the power for the whole shebang. And then we want to be putting the regolith sifter, which will be, you know, sifting through dirt and extracting water and all fine minerals and stuff. And then we want to be putting an expandable module or actually a radial probe, which is uh, useful for keeping the rover upright. If we ever need to land it or something like that. Or just drop it from the plane with a bunch of parachutes. Because that thought has crossed my mind. Airlock. Portable extractor. Well, with this one we actually might use. I'm not 100% sure if we will, but maybe. On the other side we said we wanted to have one power pack. And then we wanted to have, where is utility? We have, want to have one strip miner, portable strip miner. Yep. Because we need to be <clears throat> strip mining the whole crap out of there. Okay. Well, we don't need actually this port to put it in. So what else can we put in there? Supply kit. Uh, those are useful, but I'd argue. Let's... Put the configuration for this minerals, you know, mulch, storage bay, med kits, whatever. And let's call it base, rove, lathe, rover, base. Mark one. Simple enough name, right? Now, what else do we have? Supply ready pack? Well, maybe. Yeah. Flip it. What do I need? I need substrate polymers or I need actually dirt 
It's funny. You buy, you create a supply pack to be able to store dirt. Very handy. Let's put some cargo crate. I want to be putting some... Oh, here I could be putting dirt. Well, if I'm using here dirt, then I could be using gypsum here. Uh, we have cargo tanks or crates or kiss crates. Thermal inventory system. I'd say we need cargo crates more than the other things. So what do we need here? I would say substrate and here we would take... I don't, wouldn't say substrate. We need some of our life support supplies as well. I'm trying to look at the smaller ones. But also these hex cans are kind of nice. So if we take life support hex cans and just slap them onwards, I think it will be the best solution. Because I want to have enough initial supplies, so... Life support supplies hex cam. And I want to be putting two rather than one. And I want to be putting them somewhere here. Great. Then I'll duplicate them, put another two here, because I want them to be plentiful. Then we can take some waste hex cans, because waste is not a waste here. Waste is very precious. So your average poop is actually has a very, very high price here. Because we will be converting poop to actually fertilizer to, you know, fertilize the plants. So... If you ever end up on Duna or Mars, basically what you need to do is crap on a plant. That's definitely nice. Okay, with current crew, with max crew, we have enough. Radial oxygen tank, we have everything here. I think this is pretty good. So I'm thinking just let's sift through potential options we can have here. Supplies, machinery, recyclables. I'd argue, what can we put here? Metals, material kits, and I think we'll need some. Here we could be putting mulch. And here, in the last one, we could be putting some... Um, mater metals, polymers, or machinery. Machinery, maybe. So I will actually would argue that we don't need the supply pack, so I can remove it and put something cooler instead. And by cooler, I mean Calm Lab to do some science and to be sending some science. I think that would be much cooler and it will look much better. Anyway, oops, wrong orientation there, Chief. No, this looks much better. It looks like an actual science station rover. And it's a pretty big one, I'll give him that much. Portable smelter, crush semantic extractor. Okay, I think it's time for a field test, don't you? Now, group one, frontal wheels. Group two, second wheels. Group three, third wheels. Group four, fourth wheels. And I have a specific reason for that, and that will be, you will be seeing it once I will be testing it. Or actually flying it and the whole reason for it is to be able to fold the wheels up when we are going down the ramp from the descendant ramp from the SSTO. So um, number five will take to toggle all modules basically to put the stilts on and retract the wheels. Seven and six will be to expand all modules basically to deploy the base and Eight, I don't think so. We'll need to do anything about that. Maybe deploy the drill and strip miner or whatever. Okay, so I would say let's now make sure we have pilot, engineer, and 
well, pilot, well, whatever. I just want to be testing this bad boy. Okay, so um, a little bug there with the transparent pods. Let me just try and drive it. Driving seems to be working pretty well. Okay, let's deploy the stilts. Retract the wheels. Very nice. Deploy the base. Oh yeah. Light it up. Oh, it already feels like home. And we can start the dirt drill. I mean, it's it's a very nice place to be digging, digging right in the middle of the runway. I'm pretty sure SSTO that will be taking off from here will be thankful for it. Mm, definitely. Now let's just transfer some crew. I want to be putting them in individual modules, like agricultural module and habitation module, hopefully. We can start a research as well. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, we can deploy them. And here we have crew, so we need to redeploy Valentina back and retract this. Good. Deploy the we the wheels and redeploy the stilts. And testing one by one, I think I have completely messed up my groups. So this is something that needs to be fixed. Obviously. So, custom one wheel and the other one. Yes, two. This one and this one yes three is this one and that one good fourth this one and that one okay i think that my now groups are set up correctly and I guys i think i'll be wrapping it up for this episode let me just create it into a sub assembly reroute it and after that we will be wrapping it up for this episode next one will be about building an ssto so like if you like hit subscribe for more content and obviously you'll get notified and i'll see you all in the next episode so thank you very much for watching this is chromeworks signing off